A water lily and a water lotus are often confused. Both have benefits to a water garden, but the plants themselves are completely different. A water lily has a few characteristics that are unique. It is a shallow to mid-level plant, and it grows in water from about four inches deep down to more than three feet with some varieties. A water lily grows up from the bottom of the pond, not extreme depths, but does not float on top of the water as many people assume. A water lily grows from a rhizome or tuber. This is the tip of the root system. Foliage and buds emerge from this point. Water lilies are separated into two categories, hardy or perennial, meaning in colder climates, they re-emerge each year, and tropical or annual, meaning that the plant only lasts one season in cooler climates, like hanging baskets or other annuals, though they will not die in subtropical climates. Tropical plants are very vibrant and produce many more flowers normally than hardy lilies. As a lily grows up from the bottom of the pond, not usually more than a few feet deep, the lily pads emerge on the surface. Some lily pads are green, some flecked with white or purple, and some heavily mottled purple. Tropical lilies come in more leaf varieties than hardy lilies. Tropicals also have some varieties the bloom at night. Many people think that night blooming plants are of no interest, but the truth is that most of these lilies open a few hours before dark and stay open as late as noon the next day. This provides an extended blooming period where you can come home from work and find your pond coming to life. There is some great bang for your buck in night blooming water lilies. Lotus are totally different plants. These guys grow in shallow water and need lots of heavy soil and fertilizer. They are probably the heaviest feeders in a water garden. Lotus can only be shipped across the country as tubers. Each tubers will have growing tips. Take a pot at least 20 inches across and place the tuber on top of at least four inches of clay or loam dirt. The tuber should not be buried. Start the plant in shallow water and make sure the water is warm and has plenty of sunshine. In a few days, the tubers will send up starter leaves that seem to float on the surface of the water similar to a lily pad. After a few starter leaves develop, the main plant will begin sending up shoots above the water surface. Lotus can grow from a height of 20 inches for dwarf varieties to over six feet tall on very large varieties. This is the easiest way to remember the difference in lotus rather than lilies. The plants are tall and well out of water. For some great knowledge on lotus, we recommend you see the award-winning book, The Lotus. Know it and grow it. A very easy read and not a budget breaker. For more information on lotus and water lilies, visit us at watergardenblog.com. And for plenty of free help and to see all the new cultivars of the plants, contact our sponsor, pondmegastore.com